Savage, Savage! Turn away. I know you're gonna dig this. 21 Savage is back with a bang. The king in the house put respect on his name. Defending, attacking, it don't really matter. He got all the stats that you want, he's insane. A Serbian psycho with zero agility. Don't let the fool you, he's slippy, no really G. Not really cheap, but with greatness, it's never free. Come on! Come on, I'm in Savage! 21. 21, 21, 21. 21. 20, 21. 21. So you're telling me when 21 Savage performs in Serbia, if he was to go like 21, 21, 21, 21, he'd have to say this? Mate se de jedan. Speaking of 21, good evening everyone. What's happening boys and welcome to the 88 rated headliners Sergei Milikovic Savage aka 21 Savage that is right uh, He is a Serie A boy we obviously love it whenever a Serie A SBC comes out um, And today we do get ourselves this headliner Milikovic Savage now uh, It's an interesting card you know it's not cheap it's about 160 170 thousand coins between the consoles It's a plus 51 total in game stat uh, upgrade over his tradable 87 rated regular inform card he also has an 86 um, and uh, is an interesting card because it is a live item, and that's why you would complete this. Uh, he plays, obviously, for Lazio. I don't, sometimes I get into these, when I try to do it in one take, I just start saying weird things. But um, he plays for Lazio, obviously, and they've not been in the greatest form. I think they're currently, like, 8th or ninth on the table. Uh, they haven't won three in a row, which is the important thing for this, uh, for this card. The last time they won four games in a row was an international club friendly, so that wouldn't even count. Uh, they beat uh, Tenana, Calcio, Pedova, Vicenza, Virtus, and Frosinone. So that wouldn't even count. The last time they won more than two games was never. They've not won th uh, two games. They've not won three games in a row this season in Serie A, uh, and they haven't come close to winning four games in a row. So what's going to have to happen here is um, he's going to have to get it independently. I don't think I don't think Lazio are in the form to get the four in a row. So he's going to have to do it on his own and get it independently. He's had I think seven goal contributions in twelve matches played for Lazio. So he's obviously a really really important part of their squad. Um, so I don't think you can you can't get this. You can't do this with the expectation that he's 100% going to get himself an upgrade because, like I said, Lazio just aren't playing uh, well enough. And if you guys are following the Serie A, maybe you tell me to shut up and tell me that I'm wrong. But I think there's a better chance of him getting uh, his own upgrade on a performance uh, on his own. So if you guys watch Serie A, let me know if I'm being a dumb dumb. But uh, let's just jump right into it, boys. Smash like on the video for 21 Savage. Smash like on the video for the fact that we're going to be opening our base or mid icon pack on stream later tonight because we only have the two squad the squad battles objectives and then the 18 wins in weekend league to get done smash like for that a twitch link will be in the description below if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below and like i said let's just dive right into the episode here, shall we so 51 total in game stud upgrade like i said high medium four star four star just one of the most tanky and yes when i say tanky the 66 agility and 65 balance we're gonna find out if that's something you feel i've not even used the 86 milli i think we used uh, sorry i I haven't used the 87. We used the 86, which this is a pretty nice upgrade over. Uh, even over the 87, there's a couple nice plus three upgrades. He has 70 acceleration now instead of uh, high 60s. 76 sprint speed. Um, I do want to use him. Don't know why I don't have him on full chem there. Uh, we actually have our custom tactic. He'll go over to the right. Um, it goes up to 80 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. Has really nice shooting stats. 85 attack and positioning, 89 uh, shot power, 86 long shots. Uh, passing stats for days. Look at that. 90 vision with 90 short pass. Passing 90 long passing, good enough curve. And then his dribbling stats, going to be interesting to see how that ball control and dribbling uh, blends in with the 66 agility. And then one of the most, uh, one of the best parts of the card, we don't even care about slide tackle, so it's kind of a lie. He has himself 82 interceptions, 82 defensive awareness, and 83 standing tackle. All those stats uh, get some nice uh, juiced up, uh, juiced off, jacked off upgrades. Uh, using the Shadow Chem style, and then physical is one of the reasons that you get this card. It's one of the reasons people love him. 91 strength, 88 stamina, 82 aggression, tall enough with 90 heading accuracy and 88 jumping, has the power header trait outside the foot shot, and then also flare, um, and then already has 6'3 height. So he's an absolute monster, can play on set pieces, and we're using the Serie A boys. It has, it's been a minute. You guys didn't even see the Politano episodio, so we're going to feature him in today's epi. First owner, Ronaldo, we got from one of the 80 plus upgrade packs, so we're going to be using him for the first time this FIFA and uh, the rest of the boys pretty cool trying out this 83 Teo Hernandez we've got Gazans who's been a staple for me in weekend league and then Chucky and Insigne who we packed as well so hey let's get into match number one we're going to continue using the 4-4-2 match number one Vafanculo 
All right, first thing we'd like to test. First thing we'd we like to test. Tebur che affonda il tackle su di lui. Attenzione a Parolo che la mette fuori per il destro. Ancora Milinkovic Savic. La doppietta di Sergei Milinkovic Savic. He feels, he feels pretty damn slippery. Che bello che ha recuperato. Look at the pass from Milly to look at the pass from Milly to Chucky. Oh, Ronaldo, that was L one R that was L one R one. Uh, that was L one R one power header. Again, I'm not sure it's a must do. Because again, we do have some options in Serie A. Some pretty expensive options if you're going to go with someone that's kind of like him. Maybe the rule breaker is Nain Golan. Uh, if you missed out on that Kedira, you know, there's not a whole lot of really, really crazy CDM options. There's the Chiellini now, obviously, which changes things. Um, the Giorgio, uh, Giorgino Chiellini. Um, so Serie A suddenly has some nice options, right? So you could get, you can get Chiellini instead of him. But again, how much, what, what are you looking to spend? What's your budget? Nice. Bro, if only there was a crossing objective right now, boys. We would be absolutely bossing it out right now. Lorenzo Insigne. The Bafanculo Mad Lads are balling out. There we go. Gosling. So notice how he got the ball off. That was kind of hot. Don't get it twisted. He's not, he's not fast. He doesn't feel fast. But do you see how he can kind of glide? Even though he's got the 66 agility, he's still a glider. Okay. Nice. Cristiano. Ronnie. Luis Alberto. Prova a puntare Atebur che affonda il tackle su di lui. Attenzione a Parolo che la mette fuori per il destro. Ancora Milinkovic Savic. The absolute sauce of the lad. Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Bro. Sergei Milinkovic Savic, I believe directly involved in two goals. Hugs it out with Cristiano Ronaldo. I, I, I gotta say, I don't know what it is. We don't even have a chem style on him that affects his, that affects his agility. It's only game. And Milinkovic Savic, the one thing I don't like is the fact that he's on, he's on yellow already. Why is he already on yellow? Why you have to be mad? Millie gets a goal, provides himself, didn't provide himself an assist. That's right. Insigne provided an assist to Ronnie, and then Chucky provided an assist to Ronnie as well. Um, but uh, yeah, dribbles completed 8 out of 14. Tackles won 1 out of 4. And yeah, pretty solid first, uh, pretty solid first match. Gets control of the ball, right? A little bit of agility. Gets around a defender with some skills. He's got the four-star skill moves. Passes it off to Ronaldo. Uh, we get it off to Politano. And then R9, uh, R9, CR7. Wait, that's not what we wanted to see. Kedira, look at that. Look at the slipperiness. There's the Burba spin, little body faint. Has that strength to keep off number 23, whoever that is. That's, I believe that's uh, Joe Gomez. And then just a nice little pop with the left foot. He has the, he has the four star weak foot so he can make those. That's just 21 Savage doing 21 Savage things. <laughs> He's just, he's a tank that can spin. And he doesn't get, he doesn't get caught out of position either. He doesn't. Kind of want that. I got too fancy with it too. Politano. Chucky. What is that? Okay, L1 R1 is actually goaded for heading. The downward header. Yeah, I love his positioning, dude. And he's so strong that no one... He's so strong that it's really difficult to get the ball off him as well. I love that. Put some respect on Sergei Milinkovic. There we go, Sergei. Sergei Milinkovic Savage. I ain't having that. No, 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 no. Richard Lison. Look at him. Sergey getting the ball back. Teo Politano. Recibe Cristiano. 
Ahí se viene y si se libera clava. No estás. Ojo con esto. Ah, el arquero y una actuación. Milinkovic Savic. Cristiano Ronaldo. Tiene la boche y se va volando. Este es el Cine. Ahí va el centro de Cine. Señor Seven. Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's go, boys. Sí. Cristiano Ronaldo doing Cristiano Ronaldo things. Nice little, nice little body fade. Come on, man. And there you have it, boys. It was a close one. It was 1-0. And the difference was Cristiano Ronaldo. But another difference was that Sergei Milinkovic Savage. I feel like Sergei Milinkovic Savage, this headliner card, pretty much is representative. Look at the boys hugging it out. It's representative of uh, the Serie A as a league in FIFA, right? It doesn't get a whole lot of respect. You generally get pretty good discounts. And for a live card, I think 160, 170,000 coins is pretty damn decent. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, again, it's not a cheap one. Does get 33 out of 33 passes completed, though. Um, does get 3 out of 5 tackles one, and then 32 out of 37 dribbles one. So a very, very solid. This was more of a defensive shift. You do get some cheeky packs. So let's see what we get. We get some XP. Here's the thing in terms of value. You gotta juggle the fact that it is a live card. You gotta juggle the fact that Lazio have been absolutely trashed this year. They're currently like 8th. I think they're 7th or 8th on the table. Um, and, uh, I think you're gonna have to not rely on them to win 4 in a row because I don't think that's happening anytime soon. I think Milinkovic Savic is gonna have to pop off, uh, and get that in form on his own, right? So he's gonna have to, uh, he's gonna have to go ahead and he's have to gonna, he's gonna have to keep getting those informs on his own and whether or not he can do it, I don't know. He's gonna be, it's gotta, it's gonna start soon though. So in terms of on the pitch performance, uh, in terms of value, like I said, this is gonna be, wait, is that a walkout? Wait, did I see a cheat? No, never mind. Um, but I'm gonna give it a three out of five in terms of value. Uh, and I also give it a three out of five in terms of value because you do have some other options in the Serie A in the form of Chiellini, in the form of Nangolan, uh, in the form of that Semi Kadira if you already have him. So um, in terms of true box to boxes though, I don't think you're gonna find a better one in Serie A outside of maybe that record breaker or regular uh, Nangolan. So three out of five for him. In terms of on the pitch performance, four out of five. Defensively, he listens to instruction sets. He stays back when you want him to. He comes forward when you want him to. He's able to finish inside the box. And the one thing that really stood out more than anything to me was the fact that he doesn't feel like he has 66 agility at all. With his four-star skill moves, with his elite level ball control, he felt super, super silky. And that's the only way, that's the only word I could use to describe him um, is uh, is a silky Serbian yam boy. Um, but that is going to do it for the episode, you boys. Going to pop out to, uh, going to pop out to the gym right now. Going to come back and then we're going to fire up the stream. And then we are going to do our, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the last remaining three icon swap tokens and we're going to get that base or mid icon pack live on stream but that's going to do it for the 21 savage episodia hopefully you guys have enjoyed like i said i think it's a thumbs up if you're running a seria uh if you can get them done for a little bit cheaper of course that helps but i don't think this is a must must do sbc given we do have some pretty awesome selection of mids in the seria but that's going to do it for the episodia boys smash like on the video if you guys did enjoy hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel i'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time my bros choose later. Até.